Hi there netizens! I am Mariela Pornelosa and for today we will be talking about netizens in cyberspace active citizenship. So first, let's begin by knowing what is a citizen, netizen, and cyberspace. First is citizen or citizenship. So it's the relationship between an individual and a state to which the individual owes allegiance and in turn is entitled to its protection. So, it's us. It refers to someone who is living in a specific country with rights, um, freedom, of course, responsibility. So, we can say um, we are a citizen of the Philippines because we are a Filipino. We are the people of this country. So, that's citizen. So, next is netizen an active participant in the online community of the internet. So, we know what is a citizen. It's someone who is living in the physical world. So, netizen is somewhat like citizen. But, netizens are the people in the internet or a person who is actively involved in online community. And, netizen came from the word internet and citizen net and citizen so we can say we are a netizen because we use the internet we have different accounts we do communication online and also what we're doing right now we are studying online so now we know what is a citizen and netizen so next is cyberspace cyberspace refers to the virtual computer world and more specifically, an electronic medium that is used to facilitate online communication. So, it's the virtual world. This is where we do our online activities. And it's the electronic medium or the computer with the many worldwide computer subnetworks. And this is where communication happens in the cyber world. And we, as a netizen, is its people. So, as a citizen in cyberspace, we can say we are a cyber citizen and an active citizen of it. And as someone who is active in cyber world, we are expected to follow rules and be responsible. So now, we will talk about what are the things a netizen who is an active citizen of the internet needs to know in order to be a good netizen. So first is cyber rights. There are no real rights you have as a cyber citizen other than the legal protection you already have as an actual citizen. So again, there's no real rights. But every citizen in the cyber world should have the right to respect privacy and their own opinion. So what I'm saying is that though the cyber world does not have a bill of constitutionally protected rights, we are still required to respect certain unalienable rights like life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. So first, life or the right for fair and reasonable treatment online. Next is liberty or right to basic freedom. So what are those basic freedom? Um, like respect and expect privacy safety and equal treatment regardless of sex, religion, or sexual orientation. And we should honor others' property. And next is pursuit of happiness or right to explore personal interests without undue interference. So, this three is very important to know by every citizen in the cyberspace. Because if we know these rights, maybe there's no complications or problems that will happen. Next is cyber privileges. So, we need to know that it is a privilege to us to have access to the internet. It is a privilege to have the technology that allows us access to the internet and cellular networks. So, it's a good advantage to us to use such thing like the internet because actually it helps us a lot like communication and makes our life more easier like that. So, it's a privilege to us. So, with that, we need to be responsible. So, cyber responsibilities. Responsibility is really at the heart of cyber citizenship. 
to be responsible, we need to be informed about cyber rule. So, responsibility is very important when we're talking about cyberspace. And it is characterized as a civil behavior. So, there are certain ways as a civilized human beings should behave towards others in cyberspace. First, be responsible towards laws. So, the most important area of respect we should demonstrate as a cyber citizen is for the law. So, there are several legal issues related to online activity. So, the first is intellectual property rights. Sometimes, we just copy and paste or download in the internet, but we forget that it is someone's work. And when we do that, we violate the intellectual property rights when we don't give credit to the rightful owner. That's why, as a responsible citizen, we need to be aware about this matter. A cyber stalking, another area that has legal protections, is cyber harassment and bullying or cyber stalking. So, cyber stalking is the unwanted and or repeated surveillance by an individual or group toward another person. And stalking behavior are interrelated to harassment and intimidation. So, aside from cyber stalking, here is another cyber crimes. So, copyright infringement or a some crime wherein copyrighted work is reproduced, distributed, performed, publicly displayed without the permission of the owner. And also, cyber crime is yung plagiarism. It's where it's taking someone else's work or ideas and processing them off as one's own. Another is downloading songs you didn't purchase, profiting from others' creative efforts or products, bullying and harassment, child pornography, and internet stalking, and identity theft. So these are all the cyber crimes na as a responsible citizen, we need to be aware na dapat hindi natin ginagawa. Cyber identity. So there are a range of ways we can identify and recognize online. It starts with the online names we use for various accounts as well as our online address like email, texting, number, social media accounts, and many more. So like in physical world, we have our own identity and also in the cyber world. But sometimes people in the internet are not truly trustworthy about their cyber identity because in cyber world, identity can be changed. From names, gender, just one click and you become someone else. That's why as a responsible citizen, or our cyber identity needs to be legit. Cyber footprinting. Every time we go online or transmit anything over a cellular network, we leave a trace of that activity. And this is known as a cyber footprint. Ayan, ito yung mga bagay na naiiwan natin kapag ka may specific tayo na ginawa. So, like in physical world, we have our footprints, so is in cyber world. And there are two kinds of cyber footprint. It's the intentional and the unintentional. So, intentional is where we posted pictures of the things na tayo yung mismo nag-click, nag-post, nag-share, ganyan. So, these are some examples of intentional cyber footprint. Like photos, videos, in YouTube, Sky, FaceTime, texting, and social media accounts like in Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, gano'n. And there is comment posted on other sites. Emails, tag photos, or other user accounts. Apps like Pinterest, Snapchat, Instagram, and purchases, and other transactions. So, those are intentional footprints. While unintentional naman, example niya is cookies, mga ganun. It's true that technology helps us a lot. But like what I am repeatedly saying, we need to be responsible and respectful in the cyber world. And with that, thank you for listening.